This mother only had money to buy that balloon for her daughter, but wanted to buy something better, but her daughter loved the balloon and thanks her mother for the gift, but she ends up letting go of the balloon and it starts to go far away, and the mother ends up jumping into the street and almost gets run over by a man, and that man gets off the car angrily. She starts to walk away with her daughter, hiding her face but the man continues to question the woman. She turns around and apologizes again, saying that the balloon belongs to her daughter, and that it is her birthday. The man ends up recognizing the woman as his employee, and had to lie to the company that she was sick in order to spend the day with her daughter. The man says that it is her daughter's birthday and she doesn't even have the money to buy a balloon for her. She explains that she doesn't have any money at the moment, so she can't afford to have a party for her, so she bought this balloon. Then the boss suggests that he can take them both to celebrate her daughter's birthday, but the mother refuses, claiming that she has too much to do at home, but he insists, wanting to make amends with her for almost running her over. And the woman continues to deny it. As they are leaving, the balloon slips out of the mother's hand, and as she hurries to catch it, the boss does the same. Then the balloon pops, and the daughter is sad to see her balloon pop. The woman complains that the man popped her daughter's balloon, he apologizes, and the daughter just wants to know what they are going to do, because there is no more balloon. The boss seizes the moment to insist that they both go with him, so he can make amends with them and give her a birthday party. Even though the mother denies it, he still insists that she accept that invitation, because he doesn't want to let her daughter spend her birthday in blank. And when the mother is going to deny once again, she realizes that her daughter is already inside the man's car. The woman is embarrassed by her daughter's attitude, but the boss doesn't care about that, insisting that the woman accept the proposal. So after so much insistence, she ends up accepting to go with him. The very polite man opens the car door for her to get in, and then the three of them leave in her boss's car. Later, he drops them off at home. After buying a cake and balloons for the child, the mother feels very grateful for his attitude. She thanks the boss with all her heart, and the boss says it's okay. Then the daughter reveals that he is very handsome as the mother herself has said several times, and she tells her daughter to stop it. But the boss doesn't mind, saying that it's a child thing and it's normal, and he thanks for the compliment. The woman thanks him again, and when she goes inside the house, the boss also invites himself in. But the woman says he'd better not, because she's too busy, pushing the man out of her house and closing the door soon after. Then they both enter the house, leaving the boss outside. Once inside the house, the child asks if her mother will leave the man outside, but the woman replies that he has certainly already left, but the child is sure that he will be waiting outside. So the mother wants to prove to her daughter that he's already gone, so she goes outside to confirm, and the daughter is sure that he's outside waiting because she's sure that that man likes her mother. The woman eventually realizes that her daughter was right, and the boss says that he is waiting for her to invite him. She explains that she didn't want to invite him in, because her house is too humble. But the man doesn't care about that kind of thing, and he just wanted to celebrate the birthday with them. When the woman tries to deny it, the daughter appears on the spot, claiming that she already knew he was waiting outside, so she opens the gate for him to enter and eagerly she pulls him by the arm, inviting him in and saying that they are already going to sing happy birthday, so the mother agrees to let him into the house. The daughter is very excited to sing happy birthday, and the child ends up asking if he is married, but the man doesn't mind answering that he is a widower, but the girl doesn't know what that means. Then he explains in a polite way that he was married, but unfortunately his wife passed away and he remained single, and the daughter says that he is single like her mother and the two of them can get married, and this causes her to be scolded by her mother. She apologizes for her daughter's behavior, but the man is calm about it. Then he tells the girl that he would love to have a daughter like her mother, and the woman says that not like her, because she has a daughter, she works and studies at dawn, and on top of that she is poor, and the boss says that being poor is not a problem, then he gets interested about her college. She explains that she studies business at dawn, and for her it is very difficult to study, work and take care of her daughter. The man is surprised with her, because he thinks she is a very hard-working woman, claiming that nowadays it is very difficult to find a person like her. She ends up getting embarrassed with such a compliment, and claims that she is going to see if anyone is at the gate. Then he takes the moment to ask the child to help him stay with her mother, 
and the girl super excited, claims that she will help him. At the gate, she ends up meeting an employee of the company, who claims that she received a complaint that she had missed work because of a party. And the woman explains that she is not having a party, and just bought a balloon and a cake to celebrate her daughter's birthday. But the employee doesn't believe this, claiming that she has seen about 50 people walking around her house. And she says that she will write everything down in a report, so she can send it to the company. The woman questions why she is doing that, because it is a party just between her and her daughter. But the employee tells her to stop playing the victim, because it is people like her who end up destroying companies. She tries to justify herself that the next day she will be at work on time, and tries to explain that she only missed that day because of her daughter. She knows she did wrong by lying that she was sick, but she only did it for her daughter. But the employee doesn't want to take it easy on her, she says that she will put in the company report that there were 100 people at her house, having a party, writing everything down to send to the boss, because she is sure that he will not like this at all. But the boss arrives at that moment, asking what is going on there. The employee is surprised to see him there, and questions what he is doing in her house. The boss is not obliged to answer, and says that he heard everything they talked about, but she justifies herself that she is not lying, because the woman really did miss a day of work, and the boss asks if the employee is seeing anyone besides him, his wife and her daughter, the employee tries to explain that she is doing her role as a supervisor, that this is her job and she needs to do this inspection. But the boss accuses her of not doing her job, but lying to favor herself. But the employee doesn't know what she is favoring herself in, since it was the other woman who had lied at work, to attend a party she told she was sick. But the boss doesn't accept the employee's justification, firing her right away, and that besides her doing a bad job for his company, she is also there lying to try to demoralize the woman. She tries to justify herself and begins to stutter, she questions whether she is really being fired. And the man doesn't hesitate to answer yes, ordering her to leave that very instant. The woman explains that she didn't want to hurt anyone, but the boss doesn't care, telling them to go inside the house so that they can celebrate her daughter's birthday. They sing happy birthday there in the kitchen of the house, with the little girl very excited for the company she has on her birthday. The mother asks her daughter to make a wish, then she asks what the daughter asked for, and she replies that she asked her mother to marry her boss. But the mother scolds her, claiming that she ends up being embarrassed about it. And the boss asks her not to worry, because children are just like that. And the daughter says that she only wished for what she wants, so outside, the girl's friend calls her, and she goes running to talk to her friend. The man asks how long it will take for her to finish college and she replies that she finishes this very year, and questions why he wants to know. He explains that he has just fired an administrator and the position is open, and he would like to put her in her place, and she is very happy with the news, accepting the opportunity right away, and he says they can talk about it on Monday. Then the man says he wants to ask her something, and asks if she wants to go on a date with him. But the woman declines, claiming that he is too fancy and she is too poor, but the man doesn't care about that, because that's not what caught his attention, but her strength, and he doesn't care about her financial situation. So she agrees to go out with him, wanting to get to know him better as well. He is happy that she has accepted, and tells her that he will pick her up at 9 pm, and she agrees with him, but the man takes advantage of the moment to kiss her. It's always time to start over. Give us your opinion about this video.